So when was the first time you heard about Erling Haaland? Was it that fabulous group stage run for Salzburg when he scored two majestic goals against PSG? Well, the thing is, he was a budding superstar much before that time, and his exceptional growth was seen firsthand by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at Mulder. So let's look at Haaland's spell at Mulder and how that set him up for stardom. Early impressions. Now, Mulder has sent scouts to see Haaland two years before actually signing him. So two years later, they snapped him up from Brin for a fee of around 100,000 euros. The start of Haaland's spell at Mulder was not too smooth. Firstly, he had to bulk up as a 16-year-old to really make an impact in the Norwegian elite Syrian. He actually did that quite successfully, making the physical specimen we see today. The first year Mulder he grew 20 centimeters, 9 inches in one year, so he needed to control his training, said Mulder's former chief executive Einstein Nierland. Then he started also to build his physique. Now, an interesting incident happened with Erling Haaland in his early days at Mulder. See, Haaland is a born and bred supporter of Bryn FK from where he moved to Mulder. And the blokes at Bryn absolutely loathe Viking FK. Think of Arsenal Spurs and Everton Liverpool levels of hatred. And so when Haaland scored against Viking FK, he made sure that he riled up some of their supporters. Unfortunately, he was criticised for this by teammate Bjorn Bergman. But that didn't hamper his confidence one bit as he went from strength to strength at Mulder. Another instance revealed by Nealon describes how he used to come to his office without hesitation just to talk. And Nealon would wonder what he would like to talk about with the CEO. But Harlan was just inquisitive and asked him about how it was like being a CEO. He just wanted to learn every aspect of the game. Defining moments. One of the most defining moments in the career of Haaland when he showed signs of his future accomplishments has to be the time he played in an all-important game between two title contenders Mulder and SK Bran. The class of teenager could easily be judged by the ease with which he rose to the occasion with a display of sheer greatness. He not only won his side the game, but he won it in style while also sending a message across to the footballing world that he's the next big thing. He scored four goals in just 21 minutes in that game, with Mulder going on to win by a whopping margin of 4-0. Soon after that, while the title was still on the line, he scored two goals, helping Mulder get a crushing 5-1 win over Valerenia. This was a time when he truly started cementing his name amongst names to be looked out for, sending scouts across Europe on red alert. While Holland scored a total of 14 goals for Mulder in around one and a half seasons, these two games proved to be truly special for the then teenager. Relationship with Solskjaer Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was the manager at Mulder when Haaland joined the club, and he was pivotal to the development of Haaland at that early stage of his career. So Haaland can't speak highly enough of him whenever asked about him. He was a striker, I'm a striker, and he's won the Champions League, and that's also a dream for me. So he's been teaching me a lot of finishing skills and small movements in the box and these kind of things, he said during his time at Mulder. After all, when Haaland came to Mulder, he was still in his formative years and still a teenager. Solskjaer took him under his wing and polished his already ravaging talent. Solskjaer revealed in one interview that Haaland had not yet hit his growth spurt at the time he came to Mulder part of the reason why he faced difficulties during his initial period there. But Solskjaer and Nealon were both aware of this fact, and they gave him his required time to bloom. His growth is said to have been accelerated while he was training under Solskjaer. During one interview, Solskjaer compared Haaland to the Belgian striker Romelu Lukaku. He can become a top striker for sure. He reminds me of the type of striker Romelu Lukaku is. Recently, Haaland mentioned the text message Solskjaer sent him on joining City. When I signed with City, he congratulated me and wrote to me good luck on going to the wrong side of Manchester. We talk sometimes. As you know, he had a huge impact on my career when I was at Mulder. He's a good guy. How United missed signing him for £3 million. Another incident from his time at Mulder saw United missing out on signing him by just an hour. Yes, you heard that right. According to a report by The Mirror, it had been arranged for a United representative to ring Haaland's agent, Jim Solbakken, at 9am and finalise a deal worth £3 million plus add-ons. What transpired was that Mulder thought it would be 9am Norwegian time. When the call came through, it was 10am in Norway. During that hour, RB Salzburg had already swooped in to sign Haaland for just £8 million. Everton were also close to a bid, but eventually pulled out. Also among the interested in Haaland were Leeds United, his father's ex-club from the city where Erling was born. He always had a soft spot for the club and a deal was almost agreed, but Salzburg swooped in by offering much better financial terms to the Norwegian. 
So, moving away from boyhood club Bryn FC, meeting and training under the legendary forward Solskjaer, and setting up his name to be a brand in the footballing world, Holland made the most of his time at Mulder. From his growth spurt to learning tricks about finishing in the box, he managed to absorb everything his then coach Solskjaer could muster. Ultimately, his move to Mulder proved to be a blessing for him, enabling him to polish and showcase his talent to the world. So, to keep up with insights on Erling Haaland, make sure to first touch the subscribe button, nutmeg the bell icon, and finish with a like. Also, feel free to cheer and jeer in the comment section under this video.